Kate, for that's your name, I hear. Well, have you heard, but something hard of hearing. They call me Catherine, that do talk of me. You lie in faith, for you are called plain Kate, and Bonnie Kate, and sometimes Kate the Cursed. But Kate, the prettiest Kate in Christendom, Kate of Kate Hall, my super dainty Kate. It's for dainties are all Kates, and therefore, Kate, take this of me, Kate of my consolation. Hearing your mildness praise in every town, thy virtue spoke of, and thy beauty sounded, though not so deeply as to thee belongs, I am moved to woo thee for my wife. Moved? In good time. Let he who moved you hither, remove you hence. I knew you at the first. You were unmovable. Well, what's immovable? A joint stool. Oh, thou hast hit it. Come, sit on me. Asses are made to bear, and so are you. Women are made to bear, and so are you. No such jade as you, if me you mean. Alas, uh, good Kate, I will not burden thee for knowing thee to be but young and light. <laughs> Too light for such a swain as you to catch, and yet as heavy as my weight should be. Should be, should buzz. Well tain, and like a buzzard. O oh, slow-winged turtle, shall a buzzard take thee? Aye, for a turtle, as he takes a buzzard. Come, come, you off faith, you are too angry. If I be waspish, best beware my sting. My remedy is then to pluck it out. Aye, <laughs> the fool can find where it lies. <laughs> Who knows not where a wasp does wear his sting in his tail? In his tongue. Whose tongue? Yours, if you talk of tails, and so farewell. What, with my tongue in your tail? Nay, come, good Kate, I, I am a gentleman. That I'll try. I swear I'll cuff you if you strike again. So may you lose your arms. If you strike me, you are no gentleman. And if no gentleman, why then no arms? A herald, Kate, oh, put me in thy books. <laughs> what is your crest? A cock's comb? A combless cock, so Kate shall be my hen. No cock of mine? You crow too like a craven. Nay, come, Kate, come. You must not look so sour. It is my fashion when I see a crab. But here's no crab, and therefore look not sour. There is, there is. Then show it to me. Had I a glass, I would. What, you mean my face? Well aimed of such a young one. By St. George, I am too young for you. Yet you are withered. Tis with cares. I care not. Nay, hear you, Kate, and soothe your scape not so. I find you passing gentle. Twas told me you were rough, and coy, and sullen. Now I re find report of every liar. For thou art pleasant, gamesome, passing courteous, Slow in speech, yet sweet as springtime flowers. Did ever Diane so become a grove as Kate this chamber with her princely gate? <laughs> oh, be thou, Diane, and let her be Kate, and let Kate be chaste and Diane sportful. <laughs> Where did you study all this goodly speech? It is extempore, from a mother wit. A witty mother? <laughs> Witless else her son. Am I not wise? Yes, keep you warm. Mary, so I mean, sweet Catherine, in thy bed. Now, setting all this chat aside, thus in plain terms, your father hath consented that you shall be my wife. Your dowry agreed on, and will you, nil you, I will marry you. 